In this video, we're going to complete example one, where we solve problems using the order of operations. So we'll start by writing the acronym BIDMAS down. The reason we're doing this is just to remind ourselves the order in which we perform our operations. Starting on question A, you'll notice we've got subtraction and we've got multiplication. So we're always taught to do our multiplication first, working out five times two, which is 10. And we need to carry down anything we didn't use. We didn't use the four and we didn't use the minus sign. So we carry that down below. And then we work it out. Four minus 10 comes to negative six. Now moving on to question B. The first thing we're going to point out is that we actually have some brackets here. We have brackets around the negative four. Now we're taught to always perform our brackets first. But in this particular case, the only reason the brackets are there is just to point out that that is a negative number. So we really don't need to focus on that first. What we need to focus on is the multiplication and the addition symbol. So we'll underline two times negative four. And what is two times negative four? Well, two times four is eight and we carry the negative next to it. And we also need to carry down anything we didn't use. We didn't use the negative three and we didn't use the plus symbol. Remembering if we plus a negative number, we should put that negative number in brackets. It's just best practice. Now, as we mentioned earlier, if you have a plus sign and a minus sign next to each other, you can change that into a single minus sign. So it becomes negative three minus eight, which works out to negative 11. Now moving on to question C, once again, we don't need to focus on the brackets because they're just there to point out the negative number. We do, however, have multiplication and division. So one of these needs to be performed first and multiplication and division are equal to each other. So we need to perform the one on the left side first. We need to go negative five times negative two. So we start by going five times two is 10. And because we have a double negative, it remains as just positive 10. We also need to carry down anything we didn't use. We didn't use the negative six divide three part of this problem. What do we do now? Well, we've got subtraction and division. Division needs to be performed before subtraction. Six divide three is two and carry down the 10 and the minus sign, 10 minus two equals eight. Finally, on question D, we've got division, subtraction, and multiplication. Division is on the left side, so we're gonna start with that one first. 16 divide four is four, and we carry down the negative. We also need to carry down anything we didn't use. We didn't use the minus sign, the four, the multiplication, or the negative five number. All right, now we've got subtraction and multiplication. So we need to perform our multiplication first. Four times negative five, well, four times five is 20, and we carry the negative below. We also need to carry down the negative four and the minus sign. Remembering if we subtract a negative number, we should put that negative number in brackets. Now, we've got basically what we call a double negative where we're subtracting a negative number and we're taught that we can change that into a single plus sign. So this is now negative four plus 20, which equals 16. And that concludes our video on example one.